Hello, it's Paul. I'm going to give you a really quick, or as quick as I can, introduction today to Teachable. You'll see I use Teachable as my homepage for my website. It is the middle of 2019, so a 2019 introduction to Teachable. I'll start with a quick walk around. I'll talk about pricing, and then I'll show you what each tier will do uh, and give you some tips along the way. As you'll see, if you come down to my ear, teach, teach online with Teachable pnuk.co forward slash teachable um, is my affiliate link. If you're thinking of signing up, it would be great if you use my link. I'll put it in the um, I'll put it on the page on the video at the bottom. Um, before I start, what's really cool when I do these videos each year is to work out why you're here, what you're looking for, and you know just try and get a gist of of how I can help you more. If I can write a comment or or give you a, a video that's more um, in line with what you need, I will do that. But if you can just pause me at this point before we dive in, write in the comments why you're here, what you're looking to learn, uh, and I'll reply to you. And just a little bit more housekeeping, what I'll do in the descriptions, I'll put a link to a playlist and the, the teachable lesson for free on my website. And I'll put where each chapter lesson starts, because this video might get to about 40 minutes long. So within the description, I'll show you where each one starts so that if you can't stick around for all of it, you can jump back later and jump in and out. Uh, and finally, if you've got any comments where I haven't covered something for you, if something's missing, if you're not happy, that's fine. Just leave me a, just leave me a, a, a comment saying, I need this, or can you help with this, Paul? Or what would you do with this, Paul? You know, just leave a, just leave a friendly comment and I will help you out, no problem. Right, so let's dive into it. Let's first and foremost talk about pricing, right? So if you click on the um, in my link, go to pricing. There's three tiers, and I'll talk on a month-to-month -month plan. Obviously, it's cheaper if you if you do it annually. So it's twenty nine a month if you sign up annually. But let's talk about like the the minimum it's going to cost, or the maximum it's going to cost. So first and foremost, there is a free version that you will be able to use completely free. Here you go. Let's call compare plans. So there's a free version. That you're gonna if you're doing paid courses, um, it's gonna be a dollar plus ten percent of any transaction. So obviously, if you've got a hundred dollar course, you're gonna pay a dollar plus ten percent. You're gonna pay eleven dollars to Teachable. When you go up to thirty nine dollar version, that becomes five percent. And when you go to professional, it becomes zero percent and instant payouts. Um, some processing fees are all the same across the plans for sales. International, they're all the same. Um, payments again, nothing comes down. Chargeable, chargeback fee. This is somebody asking for a refund, and the back office fee. Now, this what's interesting with this is, and I really like this is because I'm VAT registered in the UK, which means across Europe I've got to charge VAT. Then I've got to work out how much to charge, and where to claim it, and which form to fill out, and where to pay it. Whereas you can choose if you've enabled back office transactions are subject to two percent fee um back office is an option service where teachable handles author and affiliate payout tax filing and remitting and paypal as payment method so what it does is if you've got commissions if you've got yeah if you've got affiliates to pay and if you've got tax to pay basically teachable become the the people selling the course uh, and you get commission from the final the difference so basically the, the customer the student gets an invoice that's from teachable it isn't from you so you don't have to track it in your accounts teachable will do all the vat will do all the tax will do all the filing for you then pay you the difference what's left and you just have to put in then to teachable uh, commission or teachable referral work or whatever it is not referral whatever they whatever teachable send you is all you need to put in your accounts so for me it saves me a lot of time i don't have a lot of paid stuff on there but i would 100 percent turn this on if you're in the america and you don't need to, to file for all these different places i mean i don't know if you do in america or not but that two percent is really cool teachable are going to handle the accounting for you for a two percent fee uh, instant payouts monthly payouts Unlimited courses across each, unlimited students, unlimited video bandwidth, unlimited hosting. So you don't have to worry about um, about 
hitting limits if you're a video if you if you're like me you're a video trainer worrying about how much video uh, file size i can have it's all unlimited and obviously you get a little bit more live chat support on the professional so the big difference is really on um on the the free to the 39 so the free version you still get a lot of things but this to me is probably the big difference um being able to put your own domain name so you, you'll be able to on the free version you'll have a website dot teachable dot com where on the 39 you can use your website and it can be training dot whatever it is dot com or your like me paul nicholson dot com uh, then coupons and you can have affiliates so if you're selling paid courses you probably want to get people to promote your courses and you want to give them some money back for doing it in the 39 dollar version you can um, do that, but it's all integrated. You can email people direct from your back end. You can start connecting Zapier and, and all other sort of apps through Zapier, Zapier, uh, and you can do drip content. So you can set a course out where this course, this lesson leaves on day one, this lesson leaves on day seven, this one's 14. Then when you step up from the $39 a month, if you play monthly to the 99, you can get course compliance. So what that is, is people have to complete lessons and complete a certain amount of a video. If you've got an hour long video and you say they've got to watch at least 60, 40 minutes of it uh, before they can mark a lesson as complete, uh, you can do that. And then you've got uh, advanced reporting and unbranded website. Um, so you can basically take off that powered by Teachable that's at the bottom of my website uh, if you want. Uh, and the, the the going to the 99 a month, you can then do a lot more customization. You get some extra users, you get extra admin levels and stuff like that. Um, so it, it's really cool. Sorry, that's the that's the enterprise level, isn't it? But the professional level, you get a lot more customization options, and you can start changing CSS and stuff like that in your site. So for a lot of people, start on the free. And then look at the basic, and then if you step up to um, professional, that's really cool. But this is the real differences. You're looking at the price in here. If you're on free, you're going to be paying this much uh, up to professional, where you don't I'll get charged at all. Um, so I think it's really cool, but it's it's worth looking into. But the free version will be a hundred percent fine for a lot of people, especially if you're offering free courses. Cool. Let me take you on a first walk around. Let me take you to show you what's what happens uh, uh, and basically how you can set it up. So I've got mine as paulnicholson.com and currently it's my main website. Um, you've got a home page where you can add and edit featured content. You can put up for information up. You can do whatever you want to set it up as you want. Um, and at the top, obviously, you've got all courses where people can see everything you've got to offer. My courses is everything they've signed up for. So they just, you know, they can obviously filter down uh, all courses. They can filter to a category. So uh, what have I got here? Project management platforms, authors. If the, if you had more than one, you could filter to the author, and then you could put some links up for other things as you want. This this is get Beamer. This is a new thing that I've added. Not not with Teachable. Uh, my help desk is is not accepted on Teachable either, but. When you go into the admin, you're going to get a quick dashboard. If you've got paid courses, it's going to show, show you uh, payments for that month. I don't do paid courses. I do affiliate marketing where, like in this video, if you click on my link and go and use Teachable, Teachable will pay me. So I'll put a training course on for Teachable because the guys at Teachable pay me. You guys don't need to, but you will have revenue. You'll have new user signups, new uh, this month versus last month. Uh, basic reporting all this is on the free version you can click users i'm not going to click on users just because it'll show people's email addresses and i don't want to do that um i may go in later but i'll blur it out but you can see the users you can see emails and you can see what courses they signed up for uh, you've got options to change your site you can put your site logo on and your favicon uh, change the, the background image of your site you know you've got settings here to change the style and look so if you want a different color palette you can change things um here's where you set up your domains so i've got training pull and this main one at the minute 
So if you went to any of these, I think you have up to 10 on the um, $39 version. So you can't do this on the free version. On the free version, this would be your domain. So you would have to use the teachable.com for the free version. This is on the $39 version that you can add your own. Navigation that is that menu bar at the top where you can change what the menu says. Um, bios is for the authors. So I've only got one author. Pages, you can have separate pages. Um, and that's where you edit the home page. You can decide on comments, turning comments on or off. I've got a few I need to reply to. Comment system I don't think is great. Uh, they could do a better job with the comment system. You can have a blog where you add your own blog posts. Custom code, this is again, sorry, custom, custom text is, if you want to change the name, you don't call it admin or you don't call it login, you might want to change the information. If you don't want to call it courses and stuff like that, you can change it to, to different wording, tax rate, tax, you know, VAT. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. Code snippets, you need to be on the $39 version or up, and then you can add the code. So this is where I add that get Beamer code. This is where I have my website stats and my, um, I'm not sure if my cookie consent is actually, oh yeah, it should still be there. Um, but that's where I would add all that. And then a power editor is where you would change things, change the look and style. You have to be on a professional plan to change the look and style. So then the real place to get into is the courses. So you can quickly create a course, you can quickly jump in. So you see, this is my most popular one, 209 people. And within a course, you have the information. When you set up a new course, I'll go through it in a second. You, it walks you through setting it up, but you've got basically an information page for the for the sales page. Uh, you've then got a, an actual sales page to edit, but the, the basic information populates that. And then you can create your own sales page from there, you have curriculum. We're going to go through all this again. Curriculum where you, you put different sections, you put your different lessons. You can then add your lessons where you, you're you going to add whatever that information is. If it's a file, if it's a document, if it's a video, you can add a quiz. Pricing, you can basically add your pricing here. You just go in, add pricing, uh, decide what you want, whether you want it to be a one-time pay payment or a subscription or a payment plan where you want to pay you want to offer a three three options you know you want to say that you can pay in three installments drip content as we said you can set up launch this launch this lesson on day one launch this lesson on day three launch this lesson day seven comments as we said before uh, coupons is cool so you can you can offer coupons if you've got a um, paid course you can you have to again be on the $39 version for coupons. You can create a coupon and say um, X amount off or here's a link for you or that's the one that you're going to use. You can see your students again. I'm not going to click on him. Bundle content's cool as well. So you can create courses that are bundled five of your courses together. So you can say here's a, here's a package of five courses with a value of Two hundred pounds, but I'm going to give it to you today for fifty or something like that. So you can create a bundled course, and then reports and certificates are in the professional plan. I've got a video on um, how to use certificates, how to create that, and how to do course completions, compliance stuff. Uh, so it's really cool. So I, I'm going to go through how to create a course in a minute. I just wanted to do a quick fly work round emails. I'll click on it because it's not going to show, but you can set up. Uh, an email to go to specific users. This is again on the paid version, $39 version. You can go to a set user and type in uh, Paul Nichols. I don't know if it'll find me. Oh, it may not find me, but I don't want to type out else and it shows something. So you can, you can find a user. Ah, it did find me then, didn't it? Uh, or a course, so you can set. So if I wanted to go to that Zoho CRM, then two hundred and nine people, I could send an email to those two hundred and nine people on that one course, right? Then I can see history, uh, template editor, and uh, template editors. You can change your email format and stuff like that. And then um, back end settings that you would expect, where you you know you've got where you set your payments up. Taxes is cool because. If you're that registered in Europe, it's 
it's different pricing. Some people want to show the, the actual price of the course total, not the actual price, and then, then they get VAT at checkout. They want to show um they want to show people actually what they're gonna pay. If you're work if you're doing um selling to, to customers, retail customers, people on the street that are, that are not business customers they would probably want to see what the total price is because they can't claim the VAT back. Whereas if you sell into businesses, they actually don't mind that the VAT comes on the checkout because if they've got a VAT, if they've got VAT registered, they can actually put the code in and get the VAT right off right at checkout as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can set up notifications and everything else, but I just wanted to give you a quick walk around. I think you're getting it. It's kind of easy to use. It's, it's very... Um, uh, I need to put my VAT ID in there. Um, uh, but it doesn't really matter, I ain't got anything to sell. But I just quick walk around of, of how to move around the site. It's really easy. Like I say, you've got your dashboard, you've got your courses. You can jump in and edit them. The only thing that would be great with, with Teachable was if they had the site like this. It, there isn't an edit button up here. You have to go to admin and find your course, then go to your course. So if I go to this link to edit this, I've got to go to admin courses, CRM, curriculum, then that page, right? That's that, This is that page. Whereas it'd be cool if it just said edit, but that's the only, only real uh, downside that I see at the minute. But um, so the first walk around is really easy to use. It's really easy to dive around. You can't really break anything too bad, not on the framework. Um, it's very simple and very intuitive the way you need to be uh, to set things up. Let's just go through adding a course. We'll add a we'll add a, a quick course just to show you how easy it is, right? So I'll do it in the, everything that's in a free version. So when you go, you're gonna go to admin. You're gonna go here to course. Just click add. You can copy another course if you've got one. Let's do Teachable 2019 training. Uh, Subtitle training you on how to use Teachable, Teachable for free. All right, teach. Teachable, add the author. It's going to drop me in. You have to add one if you haven't got one. Create a course, right? Now it's going to say add, add a curriculum, first section, uh, introduction. Then you can maybe add, add a section, lessons. Then you've got different two sections and you can go introduction, introduction to teachable. And here you can add text. So you can say, welcome to my teachable training save that you can add a code here so if you want to embed youtube this is what i do i go to my youtube and embed a youtube video so i might go to my channel let's go here let's go teachable introduction so you can in theory use other people's training so here's, here's my hey whip teachable 2018 i'm going to copy the embed code so you got a choice of uploading the video or embedding. So I want to grow my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go and embed my YouTube. You can turn comments on here or leave them off. Come on. Have I saved it? Yep, turned on. And then I publish it, right? And I preview that. So now I've got welcome to my YouTube and here's my introduction, right? Now, you also may want to do adding a video right so i'm gonna go new lecture uh i haven't set up a pdf so let's go what you can go is um lesson video and pdf right so here i can add a file so i'm going to add a video file from my computer so video uh, quick fix yeah this is a fast video so let's do this one so I'm going to upload and it will, depending on the size of the file, start to upload that video. But what it will do within your lessons, where you see here, because this is a YouTube video, there's no way of Teachable knowing how long that video is. 
when we upload a video it's going to say the lesson is a video so this is a document the lesson is a video and it's five minutes long or ten minutes long so i'm gonna leave that i'll leave that updating um I should have got a smaller video, shouldn't I? Right, so let me go back. This is a thing that you can't go admin, edit, admin here. So we've had a lesson. I'm going to go back to the lessons in a minute. You don't need to worry too much about which order you do all this. Um, let's go back here. This is the only thing I don't really like is the is the um, jumping in when you could have just clicked admin on the, on the site. Here you go. So Teachable 2019 training. Uh, you've got little circles here saying it's not ready. So pricing, we can go in and make it free. That's easy. We can have a, a subscription price. So we can say it's $25 a month or a year. Annual charge, uh, join the club. Annual price. You're going to write things that are better than what I can. Annual pricing, add, or you can add a um, one-time price, $99, you can put in one-time price, or you can add payment plans, so you might say it's $33, three monthly payments, payment plan, Add pricing, right? And you can always check this at any time. Just go preview here, preview sales page, 29 tra training. Here's the introduction, and here's the pricing, right? If it was free, it would just say enrolling course free here. That jumps you to the pricing where it says free, 25 a year, 99, or a payment plan. Uh, so your pricing is done. You put out if you're going to do drip content or not. But in this in this example, we won't. If you want to add a coupon, you can say uh, new coupon. This course only or for all courses. When you might say uh, you have to say which plans it for. Annual charge or the payment plan. We're going to say uh, let's go the annual charge. Applies to all payments, and you can say here how much. How much you're going to take off? So if you say it's fifty dollars off, or you can do a percentage, percentage, a hundred percent off, right? Coupon, teach free. Oh, did I put that in then? Yeah, I meant I, I clicked enter. And I didn't mean to. That's all right. Teach fee. <laughs> I'll try and remember. I've done spelt it like that. And you can say it is. How many coupons are available and what time, uh, what date do they expire? So I could test that on a different browser. If I go here and just copy it here and drop it in and go enrolling course, I'm going to go with the annual plan. Did I do it the annual? Enrolling course. It's going to ask me to sign up. Oh, am I logged in? I don't think I'm logged in. Add a coupon, right? Teach fee. And it takes out the discounts. You can test it straight away. And again, like I said, you could add your VAT, your VAT, VAT ID here as well. And that would show, that was zero, um, the VAT out. But you can see your coupon worked, right? So where else are we? Are we have our video completed? Uh, yep, so our video is now completed. We're going to add a um, comments to it and we're going to publish. Now what it'll do is it'll take some time to encode. Oh, sorry, doesn't it? Hello, Paul here. I'm going to quickly show you how to, and it will automatically play, right? But what now, in a minute, it'll it'll say, how long is this? Um, it's about 130, 130. It's going to have brackets here showing you how how long this video is, how long this lesson is. So you can actually prove in your sales page there's two hours worth of videos to watch. And if you pay for the professional plan, then you can say it's um, you've got to watch at least 60, 70% of this video before you can complete the lesson. This, this button would be grayed out 
until you've watched three quarters of the video or whatever you've decided. So you're gonna, you can set that up. You can also add a PDF. I don't know if I've got, um, let's see if I've got a PDF. Oh, my PDF will be invoices or something, won't it? Uh, mobile, da -da. Tops Blogs PDF. I don't even know what that is. B60. Let's do this. So if I add this, P this PDF, right, and upload it, you're going to get the option to allow it to be downloadable and then turn off the embed. So what that, what that does is it'll just say download link rather than embed it. So this is going to show me... Um, sorry, disable download. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave on the embed, and I'm gonna uh, allow it to be downloadable. Right. So when I preview that now, Ooh. underneath here, uh, oh yeah, this was just a document that I I uh, messed about with for another video. You can see the that it's embedded the PDF within there, uh, and it. Is it an option up here? Da -da. Open document, do document properties and save it and you can download it from there. I think that maybe needs to be uh, highlighted and then it will say, Ooh, um, stop. Shut yeah. up, shut up. And then it will say here, download PDF. So that's what that means. So if I did that the other way around and turn this off, it automatically saves and let me turn the volume off so you don't get me talking too much. So now you get the video without the the embedded PDF, right? So you can embed documents, you can embed video, um, you can set price and give it a coupon, you can change the sales page uh, and add a, add a a logo, sorry, an image. You can add a preview, a promo video on the video, so you can add here a video. I won't do it again because it's uh, I'm just going to drag this video out, aren't I? Um, let's add an image. Da -da. I don't know if I've got any image. HubSpot training. Ironically, it's a different image. but So you can add a, a file, and that will put a picture on the uh, sales page. If we save it and go to the sales page, it currently won't close a lot of windows here so it now it currently says teachable training but there isn't but if you share it it would it would pick up that image if I share to Facebook never picks up first time Facebook does it come on let me post it come on so if I go to my Facebook, they see they see that image that I've just uploaded, shared, right? So if you want the image to show on this page, you go here to pages and you can edit the page, right? So you can edit and if you replace, so if you reset this, this image so it's white and save it, now when I refresh this page, it will go white and there'll be a box with that image. So you might be, you might prefer it to be like this or the other way. And if you add a video, this would play as a video. So you can add information here, you can give them more spiel and you can edit it however you want. So in this page, you can go here. Here's the, um, here's the spiel that's free. Uh, come on, join us. Obviously you're better at writing copy than me. I suck at that sort of stuff. That would come up here. And you can add an insert stuff. You know, you can add a video. You can add backgrounds blocks. You want to put some code in. You can, and you can you can edit and add all these other different sections. And the frequently asked questions is down here, right? So what you will get here is frequently asked questions that you can edit. When does the course start and finish? How long do you do I have access to the course? What if I am unhappy? You can just edit them. If you don't like that answer, you can change it. So it's really easy, I think. I just wanted to fly through it. I know I'm dragging on a bit, but I want to fly through to show you just how easy it is to set a course up uh, and to get, you know, lessons in. See how there's a video? It knows it's a video. It eventually, it'll show um, open brackets. Sounds like someone's just fell off their bike outside. So I know that wasn't a great 
how to step by step i'm just introducing you to how easy it is to set up trading on this website so let's just talk affiliate marketing quickly right so let me go to this other and sign up for this right so let's go here let's go um paul 1653 name paul nicholson i agree to re receive instruction or that's if they want to get your email newsletter after tick to this and then they enroll right so the, the customer's going to get a email. You're going to get an email. And then they're signed in. But what I want to do, so this is going to say continue to course. It's going to jump you into that first lesson uh, or whatever you decide. And they can then decide to complete. PDF, again, is going to run. But what they've got, right, you are now enrolled Thanks for enrolling Teachable 2019 access course, right? So they can access it. Uh, they also need to confirm their account, which they would just click the link. Uh, just because it's not my default browser, I'm just going to do that here. I'm already admin of my default browser. Go to courses. So now in my courses, I can see I'm uh, logged in or signed up for that training course. And then I've got an email. This is me, the admin. This is the owner of the course. I've got an email saying someone signed up. They've signed up for Teachable, but they've used Teachable um, discount code. And they're in, right, and the, the email address, okay? But what I wanted to do in this section was show you um, I want to make that person an affiliate, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go users and... I need to grey that bit out. This one. I'm going to click on this one. And in the affiliate here, I can decide if they're an affiliate and what tier they're on. So basically now this person's affiliate code is, is if they share this code, I can track what people send to them. Um, so I can say affiliate commission, I'm going to give them 40% and save. And if I want to restrict it to certain courses, I can highlight which courses they're allowed into. Um, because there's some courses you might not want to give affiliates for. It's going to be the last course isn't it? if it's done in. Well, it might be a load of that, actually. So I can, I can choose which course they're allowed to be affiliates in, right? Oh, it's gone to sleep on me. I'm mean, acting to you about eight times. Base camp teachable teachable um commission enabled if you just leave it off it'll be all of them here we go teachable so i'm gonna i want them to sell this course for me or to or to send it out to their um to their followers or to that whoever they influence and just send this link right so when they come into it because if you're trying to sell courses online affiliates can be a big thing for you now what you'll notice is, is the student has got an admin button and they can log in now and see their affiliate information. You're getting 40%. Here's your affiliate code. Here's your sales uh, and your statements. Here's your settings. When a student enrolls in a paid course, email me. Here's your money. Put your PayPal address in. Remember from the 2% the commission, 2% fee, um, affiliate uh, teachable is going to take care of paying these people for you but they can just share this link right so basically if they want to sell that teachable course oh let's go back to paul nicholson i didn't actually mean to jump into affiliates but i think it's quite a big thing now um da -da -da, edit manage oh man it's because they're logged in you want them to share a link to your course right so let's just go here copy link address and then go down here uh no 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 oh i don't know what i'm talking about it's here right it just shows you i don't use it so often here's the course that you've got a link to this is what i'm exactly what i'm looking for so if you copy that link and then share it out anybody you come into your website via that link signs up after 30 days, because there's a 30 day money back guarantee, if they don't ask for a money back, then you're giving them 40% commission or whatever you've decided um, uh, after fees. 
uh, and then you'll be paid out. So it'll say up here, look. Due to the school's payment set up, payments will be handled by either a school owner or teachable, depending on transaction credit card. Please contact for more. All right. But then it'll tell you more on uh, the great that page doesn't exist. But what I'm just saying in that section is, is getting people to promote your courses is easy for you to give them a link. Then Teachable will pay them the commission you've set up. So it's a really cool way of getting more people in, right? So I see that this is dragging on now. I don't want it dragged on too much because, you know, if you go to all courses on my website and go Teachable, within this training course, I'll show you how to use everything. You can ask me anything. So, you know, you see all the different timings. So the basically, basically I've got an introduction, pricing, and then some information on custom stuff, how to add your cookie consent and uh, how to sell physical products. So if you want to sell a book, uh, you can do it. If you want to sell hats, you can do it. Uh, how to make active campaign. There's custom questions being answered here, right? And I've got other videos on how to use Teachable. So just come in, sign up for my course, it's free. Dive in, ask questions. Come to me on Facebook, join the Facebook group. Uh, jump down here and ask for help. Fire in the comments anything that you need. I don't want to drag this video on a little bit too longer than I think that it already is. But I hope, I hope I've hope i just sort of introduced you to the fact that Teachable is really easy to set up. It's really easy to use. It's unlimited files. It's unlimited uploads. It's unlimited students. All on the free version. Yes, there's better functions on the paid versions. But it's I find it really easy to use and it just works. People can log in. People can pay. People can... Uh, do whatever you need them to do. Uh, I like systems that do that. Um, so come and pay me a visit. Come and ask me any questions. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.